thing is um, Exodus chapter 7 7 through to Exodus 8 24. Exodus 7 7. And Moses was 80 years old, and Aaron 83 years old when they spoke to Pharaoh. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, Show a miracle for yourselves, then you shall say to Aaron, Take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and let it become a serpent. So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh, and they did so just as the Lord commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and it became a serpent. But Pharaoh also called the wise men, the sorcerers, so the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For every man threw down the rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods, and Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them, as the Lord had said. So the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hard. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning when he goes out to the water and you shall stand by the river's bank to meet him. And the rod which was turned to a serpent you shall take in your hand. And you shall say to him, The Lord God of the Hebrews has sent me to you saying, Let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness. But indeed, until now, you would not hear. Thus says the Lord, By this you shall know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will strike the waters which are in the river with the rod that is in my hand, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that are in the river shall die, the river shall stink, and the Egyptians will bloat to drink the water of the river. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Say to Aaron, Take your rod, and stretch out your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their streams, over the rivers, over their ponds, and over all their pools of water, and they may become blood. And there shall be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in buckets of wood and pitchers of stone. And Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord commanded. He lifted up the rod and struck the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. The fish that were in the river died. The river stank and the Egyptians could not drink the water of the river. So there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. Then the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments. And Pharaoh's heart grew hard. And he did not heed them as the Lord had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house. Neither was his heart moved by this. So all the Egyptians dug up all around the river for water to drink, because they could not drink the water of the river. And seven days passed after the Lord had struck the river. And the Lord God spoke to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus said the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. But if you, if you refuse to let them go, Behold, I will smite all your territory with frogs. So the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into your house, into your bedrooms, on your bed, into the house of your servants, on your people, into your ovens, and into your needling bowls. And the frogs shall come up on you, on your people, and on all your servants. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, say to Aaron, stretch out your hand with the rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out the hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up frogs on the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, and they may sacrifice to the Lord. And Moses said to Pharaoh, Accept the honour of saying, When I shall intercede for you, for your servants and for your people, to destroy the frogs from you and your house, that they may remain in the river only. 
So he said, tomorrow, and he said, let it be according to your word, that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. And the frogs shall depart from you, from your houses, from your servants, from your people. They shall remain in the river only. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried out to the Lord concerning the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. So the Lord did according to the word of Moses, and the frogs died out of the houses, out of the courtyards, and out of the fields. They gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and did not heed them, as the Lord had said. So the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your rod, and strike the dust of the land, so that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and struck the dust of the earth, and it became lice on man and beast. All the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. Now the magicians so worked with their enchantments to bring forth lice, but they could not. So there were lice on man and beast. Then the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them, just as the Lord had said. And the Lord said to Moses, Rise early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh as he comes out to the water. Then say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Or else, if you will not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies on you and your servants and your people and into your houses. The houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies and also the ground on which they stand. And in that day I will set apart the land of Goshen in which my people dwell. And no swarms of flies shall be there in order that you may know that I am the Lord in the midst of the land. I will make a difference between my people and your people. Tomorrow the sign shall be. And the Lord did so. Thick swarms of flies came into the house of Pharaoh, into the servants' houses, and into all the land of Egypt. The land was corrupted because of the swarms of flies. It's the word of God. Our gracious God, we just thank you, Lord, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the truth, Lord. We just ask your blessing upon us today, Lord. It's just in the times we're living in, in these dark days, Lord, it's fantastic that you've given us the truth. We know that you're good, loving, long-suffering God, and we just thank you, Lord, for the work you've done in each of our lives here today, Lord. It just breaks our heart when we look around us, Lord, and we see people going about their lives busy, and they're just clueless, Lord. So just help us, Lord, to, to um, do your will, Lord, to shine forth as, as salt and, and, and light, Lord, light in this world against that backdrop of a dark world. We do pray for Sam now, Lord, we pray that... Um, everything will be okay with him and we also pray for the person that came this morning and the family that they would um, yes. um, maybe even be able to come to this church Lord is closer and um, that they would be able to shine forth also in, in the community so that's our prayer in Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen. 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 Thank you 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 Thank you